As the backbone of the tanker fleet, the KC-135 Stratotanker puts the reach in the Air Force's global reach ability. In its 60 years, it's gone through many upgrades. Essentially, instead of just basic gauges, we have a monitor where all your uh, engine instruments are displayed. Autopilot is a lot better as well. It made it a little bit more simple. You know, troubleshooting is you know, a little bit easier, so it doesn't take as much time to work Block 45 as it did Block 40. And a Block 45 kind of modernized the KC-135 from the avionics standpoint. Block 45 made it a lot safer. Not only, sa not only is it safer, but maintenance is a lot better. Though the maintainers install these avionics upgrades, the pilots still have to learn to use them. McConnell is very unique, uh, especially for the KC-135 mission, because of the different variants and models we have of KC-135s available here. Aircrew stationed at McConnell need to be able to operate any variant of KC-135, but currently we have both a Block 40 and a Block 45 simulator, so our aircrew are capable of maintaining systems knowledge and differences in both styles of aircraft. With the Block 45 upgrade bringing the KC-135's avionics technology closer to today's commercial aircraft, the Stratotanker is now projected to fly well into the year 2040. Senior Airman Darrell Sidnor, McConnell Air Force Base, Kansas.